Hello and welcome to Shifting Gears. This is the all new 2024 Nissan X-Trail SUV here for the Indian market. This is a 7-seater CBU completely built unit, full import SUV arriving in India straight from Japan. Brought to India as a CBU made in Japan, the Nissan X-Trail retails in a single variant asking for Rs 49.92 lakhs X showroom. In our opinion, pricing has gone horribly wrong. Forget the Hyundai Tucson, Skoda Kodiak or Toyota Fortuner as rivals. Even the BMW X1 has an asking price starting lower than this Nissan X-Trail. Now the X-Trail nameplate is tried and tested and loved all around the world and now it has finally arrived in India. Let us first talk about the exterior design highlights of this all-new 7-seater SUV here for our market. In 2023, the Nissan X-Trail ranked among the top 5 global SUVs with total retail sales over 4.5 lakh units. But in India, there has been a long gap before we have received this new model. Also, do note, what we get as a CBU in India is not the top spec Nissan X-Trail which is sold abroad. While design and proportions overall are decent, the X-Trail does lack wow factor and road presence. Each of its competitors look more appealing from the outside. Exterior features include LED headlamps, LED tail lamps, Generous dose of chrome on the front and side, plenty of black plastic cladding, 85 degree opening doors, lovely looking 20 inch alloy wheels, roof rails, bold crease lines, shark fin antenna, aero curtains, skid plates, etc. It has all the basics, don't get us wrong, this is a good looking SUV, but for this price, not so much. Now, this Nissan X-Trail is a 7-seater SUV, but we would call it an occasional 5 plus 2-seater, where the third row, two seats are ideal only for kids, they are not too spacious for full-sized adults. In terms of ergonomics, Nissan has got it right. There is not much in here, so less scope of going wrong too. Everything falls just right in place. For my height, I could find a comfortable driving seat position instantly. The cabin is wide too, so you do get the sense of space in the front cabin. The second row as well is spacious and even taller occupants would stay at peace here. Fabric seats might be a downer when it comes to luxury appeal, but they won't get as hot on a sunny day, which could work in the car's favour. The third row cabin though is pointless for adults. This is strictly for kids only and not sure if even kids would want to be punished over here. The second and third row seats of the Nissan X-Trail are modular in terms of the flip, fold and tumble ability. So there is plenty of luggage carrying capacity that the X-Trail offers. Once you step inside the new Nissan X-Trail, it is kind of a mixed bag. The minimalism can attract quite a few buyers, but then it can also let down all of those who like opulence and flamboyance. The first time I stepped inside the cabin, the minimalist design did appeal to me. I liked how the X-Trail made me feel at home, but soon this felt like a home from a decade ago. At this price, the feature omissions are glaring. You do get a full digital color display speedometer cluster which shows you all the information you need, but the screen lacks crisp detailing. The touchscreen infotainment is too small and it does not offer even wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Yes, you do get dual zone climate control, steering mounted controls, soft touch materials, practical storage spaces which are large and plenty, wireless charger, dual pane sunroof, etc. But then you get fabric seats on a car which could cost almost 60 lakh rupees on road. And missing features include ventilated seats, hydraulic bonnet open assistance, assisted tailgate opening and closing, powered seats, and even ambient lights. Price to features ratio of the Nissan X-Trail is really poor. If I had to put a price on this, I would spend no more than 35 lakh rupees on road on the X-Trail. 
Products such as the Hyundai Creta and Kia Seltos offer far more features at a far lesser price tag. While the exterior and interior of this Nissan X-Trail might not wow a lot of potential buyers, let me tell you, the engine is quite the highlight. This is the world's first variable compression turbocharged petrol engine and it comes with a CVT gearbox. While on paper, it might sound underwhelming, it might sound like it is too little an engine for too big a car. Let me tell you, once you drive it, your opinion about it is going to completely change. Nissan has been hyping the X-Trail with this new engine. The company knows that their product does lack features. But with this patented engine technology, they are hoping that enthusiasts are attracted to the showrooms. Powering the X-Trail is a 1.5-litre variable compression turbo petrol motor, which is a three-cylinder unit and it produces 163 PS of power and 300 newton meters of torque coupled to a two-wheel drive CVT transmission. Nissan claims a fuel efficiency number of 13.7 kmpl and on our spirited review drive, we did manage over 10 km per litre easily even while doing silly speeds frequently. Coming to the engine, this is a world first and depending on the throttle demand, the compression ratio changes from 14 is to 1 to 8 is to 1. Lower compression means higher power and higher compression means better efficiency. The 12V Alice Mild Hybrid Tech provides a torque assist and this could also marginally reduce the carbon footprint. This is not a plug-in hybrid. The lithium-ion battery pack keeps charging on the go. For a 3-cylinder engine, the X-Trail sprints with urgency and crossing triple-digit speeds is effortless. NVH is great too and overall, this is more of a well-engineered car rather than a showpiece. And once you drive it, maybe then you could sense why this pricing. The CVT gearbox of the Nissan X-Trail is a gem too. It mimics gear shifts so flawlessly that you feel bare minimum rubber band effect. In fact, it feels almost like a dual clutch automatic transmission. Paddle shifters add more fun to your driving experience and the X-Trail is genuinely impressive to drive. The engine and gearbox are very responsive together. Even the sound that is heard inside the cabin from the motor and the transmission, you would not expect it to be so good, especially with a three-pot mill under the hood. Yes, there are eco, standard and sport driving modes to alter the engine response. Now this full import Nissan X-Trail arriving in India is riding on 20-inch wheels. They look quite nice, they look quite stylish, they fill up the wheel well area quite nicely and they add a good visual appeal to the side profile of this vehicle. This vehicle, when you drive it out on the highway and also when you drive it inside the city, even with these large wheels, the ride quality is quite impressive and it is very, very comfortable. Out on the highway at serious triple digit speeds, the vehicle stays stable at all times and it also soaks up the undulations in a very mature fashion. So you will be a very happy driver, a very happy owner in this X-Trail. For a 5 plus 2 seater SUV and a claimed 0 to 100 km per hour sprint in 9.6 seconds, the X-Trail is overall an impressive vehicle. Handling is so nice and tight that the vehicle begs you to get on the inner line closer to the apex. It stays planted and could possibly do higher speeds around a corner compared to competition. On the Delhi-Mumbai Expressway, we felt that the X-Trail was stable and even with sharp steering inputs, there was very minimum body roll. The feel of the steering wheel can be tweaked if one chooses, but at high speeds, it robs your confidence as it gets very light. Brakes and tires on our review car performed as expected, so no drama over there. So that is all that you need to know about this 2024 Nissan X-Trail which has arrived here in the Indian market as a completely built unit. The exterior design I like, it is inoffensive in its design language. The interior cabin, the minimalism is definitely to my taste but the vehicle does lack features such as ventilated front seats, leather seat upholstery, it doesn't even get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And this X-Trail does not even get level 1 or level 2 ADAS, which is quite a big miss because vehicles such as the Hyundai Venue and Kia Sonnet also offer ADAS here in our market. Yes, the X-Trail is overpriced. 
yes there could be discount soon if stocks do not move for a long time but it isn't a bad product if you are someone who looks beyond features then this is an engineering focused vehicle for you also do not forget this is a cbu and it has scored 5 star euro ncap and a ncap crash test safety ratings but then again no a dash at this price what is nissan thinking so what is your opinion about this 2024 nissan x trail here in our market do let us know in the comments below if you have any other questions you can ask us and we will try our best to help you out what would you compare this nissan x trail with would you compare it against the likes of the toyota fortuner would you compare it with the likes of the hyundai tucson how much money are you willing to spend on this vehicle which is a full import what would you be comfortable with writing a check to bring this home till next time subscribe to the shifting guest channel press that bell icon always drive safe and always follow speed limits